Okay, Hemmings, it was uh, probably harder work than we thought it would be in the end, but uh, through to the next round. Um, see, listen, I, I, obviously I was there, they're a good team. I, I knew it wasn't it going to be easy, but obviously the way that you start the game at 1-0, um, you thought it could go against them, to be fair. But listen, they stuck in there and they scored some good goals from their point of view, so um, nothing but well wishes for them. But yeah, just delighted we got through to the, to the next round. They were really stubborn, weren't they? Couldn't just couldn't shake them off. No, but listen, that's that's what that's, that's what Tramere as a club is is about, and that's what um, the people there represent and what they expect from themselves. So um, listen, you knew it weren't going to be easy. They they've got some good players. Do you know what I mean? So um, it's probably disappointing from our point of view the the goals that we concede. Um, but <laughs> what an epic way to finish it. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> you say it was a nice way to finish it yourself. You came on. Quite late in the game, mm -hmm. but uh, you must have thought that you've got the winner at three two. Um yeah, listen, delighted to, to get on the score sheet again. Um you'd you'd I'd have liked to have seen the game out like that, but again they, they, they come back and get a they'll probably say it's a good goal from their point of view, sloppy from our point of view, do you know what I mean? Middle of the six yard box, free header. But um yeah, to go and to go and score in a way that we, we did and probably the last kick of the ball was Special, yeah. You must have had your head in your hands when they got that equaliser to make it three. Yeah, of course. Like I just said, you know, I mean, it was it's disappointing to have a free header middle of the go middle of the goal, such so late on in the game. Um, but I think we've shown great character, well, since I've been here anyway, all season to to, to get results and play the way that we have in game. So um, really pleased to see really get on the end of that one at the end. I was going to say. It's really a lesson in you've got to play right to the death and yeah, of course. you chased chased yeah. it down got in the shot that yeah. was pretty unstoppable really and the keeper yeah, no, well listen, to get on it I struck it really really well to be fair and I thought that's, it's got a chance but like you made a good save but I mean Reed's the top striker so he's there to to gob up the rebounds and yeah we progress on and he is he is there at the right place at the right time yeah. isn't he and uh, he's done that so often for the yeah. club yeah no, listen Reed is brilliant Reed is I always think as a striker, you don't get lucky when you score goals. It's, it's never luck and it's, it's a bit of a slide tackle chip. I don't know what it was today, but listen, he's in the right place at the right time. He slots his penalty away coolly and he's forever there in the right place at the right time. He scored a lot of important goals for us this season. So, um, yeah, long way that continue. How do you feel yourself now? you feel up and running and really feel part of the club? And, and um, the yeah, I do. To be fair, it was just getting that goal last weekend after... From my perspective, a bad miss Tuesday, an even worse miss two minutes before it. Um, but to get on the score sheet and, do you know what I mean, I'd not scored for a long time to be fair. Obviously, I had, I had a bit of an injury last year and I was out for a long time. But um, to score was, especially against Derby as well, do you know what I mean? I'm from Burton as well. I've had a few friends in that area who are Derby fans and um, that was really, really important for me. And uh, listen, I was disappointed not to start today, but you've got to stay ready and when you come on, do your best for the team and yeah, just got got to be able to help the team out, get the goal and play some part in the in the last goal as well. Anybody you fancy in the next round? Only one doesn't really matter, does it? Do you know what I mean? It's, it's about to, to be fair, it's just about trying to listen. We, we, I know obviously I'm, I'm a Aston Villa fan, so I know who they got put out by last year, and that's kind of the goal getting to the third round and getting getting them kind of teams and testing yourselves against the better team. So you. Whoever it is next round, you want to kind of deal with them and what, how, however you can, and hopefully have another good cup run like the club did last year. Well done today. Thank you very much. Cheers, guys.